Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over DaVinci Resolve export settings and how to get the best optimal exports for all of your videos, including short form and long form. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible, so let's go. So now that we're here in our editing software, what we're first going to do is we're going to change our preferences. We're going to go to the DaVinci Resolve and tap preferences. We're going to first go to our general tab. We're going to make sure use Mac display color profiles for viewers is on. We're going to put automatically tag Rec 709, scene clips is Rec 709A. And then that should be it for everything in the preferences. What you're going to want to do now is go to your project settings. This will go for any type of project that you're on. What you're first gonna do for your project settings for a YouTube video, you're gonna go here 4K. I'm just gonna make sure our timeline frame rate and our playback frame rate is 23. We're gonna go to our color management tab for the timeline color space. I used to go DaVinci WG slash intermediate and then output color space, I'll put Rec 709A. For color grading and the power grades that I use in DaVinci Resolve, I'll turn this option, I don't know how to pronounce this, but we'll put it down to the second option and then general options use s curve for contracts this is just what the power grades that i use you don't necessarily have to do that but you should definitely change the timeline color space to yg intermediate and i'll put color space to rec 709a i'm going to go ahead and click save and then i'm going to go here and create a new timeline so this will be for a youtube video hit a youtube we're going to turn that off 4k youtube video and we should have everything here and then it should have went here for your color page and everything should be fine for create what you're going to do is you're going to edit your whole project, color grade, fin finalize everything, and we're going to go down here for your export settings, file name, whatever, location, put that wherever you want it to be. I usually go MP4, single clip MP4, uh, YouTube video, so it'll be 3840 times 2160, frame rate 23.96. This also might be changed for you if you're at a 60 frame per second project. And then per YouTube, the first thing that you'll want to change you want to restrict it around 40,000. Anywhere between 40 to 80,000, I've found no difference going all the way low as 40,000 and 60,000. I usually will export with 40,000. Encoding profile for YouTube videos, I'll go high. In entropy mode, I'll go C A B A C. I'll also turn on multi pass encode. This will just go through the export two times just to make sure it doesn't miss anything. Color space tag, you shouldn't have to change this. It'll be the same as your project settings. Also, go down here, force sizing to highest quality. I'll check that. And force to bear to highest quality. Check that. One thing I missed real quick is the data levels. You want to put these on full. Should be fine on auto, but I just put them on full just to have some peace of mind. If there's any sub subtitles in the videos, I always just put burn into video. And then, yeah, that is just the YouTube. That is the most optimal YouTube export settings that I have found. Now let's go into short form. For short form, you're going to want to turn it to 1920 times 1080. Short form content isn't allowed to be at 4K yet. So when uploading a 4K clip, it's just going to com get compressed anymore. So what you want to do is you want to do a 1920 times 1080 vertical resolution. We're going to keep our frame rate the same with how we shot. Color management. If you watch the beginning of the video, you should have all this out. WG Internet, Rec 709A. And then these are optional. And we're going to go ahead and create our timeline. Short form. Uncheck project settings. 1080 vertical resolution it's going to all be the same how we just did that going to make sure that's created you're going to edit your footage color grade sound design whatever and you're going to head down here to the export tab name your project location uh single clip mp4 h264 vertical resolution 23 for short form you're going to want to restrict to around 15,000. i found this to be the best and most optimal and i've seen a lot of other creators use this one as well encoding profile for youtube you want to change this but for tiktok and instagram you don't want to change this for me i've never been able to upload a video when i put this at high or anything let me know if this has worked for you but it hasn't ever for me i usually just keep this on auto for a short form video because it's just fine i always have multi-pass encode this has been something that i've noticed up my quality a lot with short form content just data levels full again color space type same as project and then just changing these last two and then burn into video for subtitles again and then checking on those last two burn in the subtitles into the video and then that's it all right guys i just want to thank you for watching this video i hope there was some value to you let me know if you have any questions down below and i appreciate you for watching again